Hello everyone, this is Paul here with another video. And I know it's been a little while, but I thought I'd do a video. And it's a Free the Peace Friday video, but I'm going to be just cracking open quite a few pieces here. Um, and let's get started. And there's a few I'm not going to open like these. Here's some Auto World, 1970 Dodge Challenger RT, in this yellow with the red stripe on the back, and here's a 1970 Dodge Challenger RT in blue. I bought these, but I found out I already have them, so I'm thinking of putting these up for trade bait, trading for something else I need. And these are two Auto Worlds, and they are from Premium Series Release 3. And this is version A on the bottom, and version B on the top. And then I found two of these. These 95 Subaru SVX. I just picked up two of them, because of... This um, model's pretty cool. I knew somebody that actually had one of these, and you don't see them around often, but they're pretty cool, and I will crack one of these open. So, there you go. Get this white metal body, and then, as you know, the top is all plastic. Windows are really dark, dark windshield. I don't think just all the plastic there, so can't see through them. Even the wing is part of that top part, just plastic. You get nice detail in the back, though. Um, no detail in the front, just a little bit on the sides. Plastic base, typical matchbox wheels, which I like these ones. And there's the Subaru SVX. It's a new model. And then we'll crack this open. This uh, 2011 Dodge Charger RT. In this blue color from the Muscle Mania. It's 10 of 10. And then there you go with that one. Black. Oops. Dropped it. The blue deco there. There's Mopar on the side. Dodge RT. No detail on the front or the back. You get a gray plastic base. Plastic wheels. The blue tinted windows. And you get this gray interior. Which... The interior part has that little part in the front, the grill that pops through. And I just like Mopar, so I bought it. I'm not a huge fan of the newer, newer Mopar, but it's still a Mopar. I like them, but I'm more into the 60s and 70s Mopar. And then the next one is this Dodge Challenger Drift, oops, Drift Car. Says 426 on the side, and this is from the Night Burner series, six of ten. Another Mopar, you gotta buy it. And there you go on this red color. Get the black and white deco on the side, the white stripes on the top, and the white roof. And the wing is metal, and it has the Mopar symbol back there. No detail on the back. Or the front. And you get this grayish plastic base. And then you do get side pipes sticking out the side. You get the smoked black windshield. Just like gray interior. There you go. That 
thing wants to roll. Dodge Challenger Drift Car. And then we got the Satin and Chrome. It's number 6 of 6. And this is a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Satin and Chrome. And then there's all the other ones in the set. I do have the 63 Chevy 2. I did pick that one up too. I'm doing a custom out of it. And I actually did find quite a few of those dots and wagons. But everybody wants those. But I just left them. Because I'm not a big JDM fan. So just didn't pick it up. I'm only now buying certain castings. I'm not buying everything nowadays. Trying to be really selective on what I buy. So you get this gray or satin gray paint job. And then you get this nice deco on the side. It looks like it says 51 there. You get like this tan interior. Blue tinted windows it looks like. There's no deco on the back or front. You get this gold base. These gold um, rims on the steely wheels there that are plastic. So that's that's cool right there. Okay, and the next one is this red 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. Car is awesome. So the artwork, just the front fenders on this artwork, they just look a little odd to me, but that's just me. But this is from the Road Trip, 8 of 20, Matchbox. And there you go. Get this almost silver or grayish white plastic base plastic wheels get the deco and the headlights on the front there and you get little license plate tail lights on the back and then that grill is silver I don't know I wouldn't have made that grill silver but they did that's a cool model there 1962 Volkswagen Beetle and then we have two of these I found I just grabbed two of them and this is I think this is a decade series I forget what they call this but this is a ooh, sorry 2015 Dodge Challenger SRT I picked up two of those this is 8 of 8 in purple I'll leave one in the card trade it and then we'll open one of them. It's cool, I got the old school black wall wheels on this that are all blacked out. Or actually, it's a little gray on there. But you get a black plastic base. It says Hemi. It's purple with Hemi. You get the turn signal light and that light in the back. And then you get the black on the hood. It says Hemi. No detail in the rear. And none in the front. And let's see. Yeah, it says Dodge Challenger SRT Demon, actually. That's what this is supposed to be. It's pretty cool. Smoked. Black windows and black, the interior looks black. So there you go with that one. So we got some nice looking models here. They're very cool. And then we got a couple more we're going to crack open. And this is the Fast and Furious Fast. Rewind, and it's Hot Wheels Premium, 
and the Nissan Silvia S or the C SP311. And this is the fast rewind. This is five of five. And this is actually a new model that they released in this set. I think this is the third one I picked up because I have the Nissan Skyline C210 and I have the Nissan Skyline HT2000 GTX. The only other one I was thinking about trying to get is that Nissan Fairlady Z, which I saw it, but I didn't pick it up. If I don't find it, I don't find it. But I normally don't pick up these JDMs, but these I decided to pick up. This one I thought was a little cool. So let's get this out of the package. It's nice real riders on there. You get the blue, the white, red and white stripe going around the sides all the way to the back and around. And then you get this chrome front there with headlight detail, turn signals. And then you get the chrome bumpers on there with the detailed tail lights. Looks like it says Sylvia right there. And it does come with a blue metal base, rear riders, clear windshield. Black interior with the driver on the right side. And this is a nice little cool model, the Sylvia. And then we got one more piece we're looking at. I decided to pick up one of these. I wanted to get the... What was it? The 1970 Dodge Charger. But they didn't have it, so I got this one. This is the Hot Wheels ID. Uniquely identifiable vehicles, and this is kit. And it says limited run collectible. And then there is that. This is Series 1 Hot Wheels Screen Time, one of five. And welcome to the virtual garage. This is your kit. And then it has the speed, laps, races, track your performance, which I haven't done that yet. I was going to try it, and then there's what the inside of the package looks like. I know some people have been showing these already. And then there's the model. It's like this gr dark grayish color. Tan interior, very dark windows. And it has a Hot Wheels logo in the back. Get the license plate on the rear. And then it comes with these ID wheels, which look kind of cool. And then you get the plastic base. It's kind of smoked a little bit, but as you can see, it has a Hot Wheels ID and it has a chip in there that you can scan with your phone or to use with the app or you get the booster for the track and you could scan it by putting it through that and I thought this is a cool model and there you go there's the kit car from the Hot Wheels ID and there you go for free the peace Fridays and we freed a bunch of stuff here tonight and if you have anything, go ahead and free it. Free the peace. And this is all for the fun of collecting for the adult collector. And it's fun to collect these die cast. And I just want to say thank you to anybody that is watching the video. And please... Give a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And please leave comments, tell me which one was your favorite. And again, 
Thank you very much. And free the peace on Free the Peace Friday. And hopefully we'll try to continue to do videos. We'll see how it goes. And we'll just catch you at the next one. Bye.